just wait and you let them process this to hear these different feelings in Dorian, major, minor. And don't feel sorry for them and say you're overburdening them, you're overpowering. You're just letting them hear as much as they can. So I would do Dorian Yam Pom Pi So they've heard, by the way, I'm talking about when I work with preschool children, I teach about 12 for a half hour, I'll do five or six tonalities. Just let them hear. I don't expect them to participate any more than I expect the young child who's just been born to participate in language. They listen. They become acculturated. And what I'm doing with children and what we find in the research is to acculturate them by giving them the opportunity to hear all these tonalities. So not only do they hear Dorian, Phrygian yam pom pim pa ra di a dum, la ra di a da pom pi a da pom pom pom, pom pim pom pom, pom pa ra pom pom pom. Then go back to nature, yam pom pa ra pi a pa ra dum. Frigian Yadi Bom Bom. Instead of minor, go to Frigian. This goes on and on. Uh, if you can, make selenium. Yam Bom Piana Lara Diadam. Lara Diadam Bom 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 Bom. Just let it settle. No explanation, no theory. If you're working with kindergarten children, first grade, or if I were working with you, if you asked me to come here and do a learning theory program with you, I wouldn't be explaining at all what I was doing theoretically. I would just sing to you. Comparisons of the relationships <clears throat> is what just broadens the ears to the listening as much as possible. And I would go as far as to be doing things, uh, what you call a tonal, I call multitonal. Yada bum, be yada be yada bum, be bum. Of the mouth, with the lips, with the tongue. 
Don't go back in the throat. Da, 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 da. But if you do this, then they begin to babble and try to imitate. And that helps them develop a listening vocabulary once they try to imitate through babble. Of course, they're not going to imitate accurately, but they're exploring. And if you do everything in the front of the mouth, it gives them an opportunity to cooperate. Doofle. Ya, fa, ya, fa, fa, ba, da, ba, be, a, ba. Do it and then triple. Ba, da, ba, be, a, ba, 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 be, a, ba, ba. Now, the important thing when you do this with them is that you move. Most persons teach music through the brain rather than the body. <coughs> and if you want them to develop a great listening vocabulary, as contradictory or as ironic as it may seem, you have to be a ba da ba bum, be bum, ba bum bum bum. I'm not talking about kicking the beat or clapping. I'm talking about free, continuous, flowing movement. If you're, if you're familiar with Rudolf Laban, Del Gross, we're talking about the kind of things that they do that they knew more than 100 years ago, and we all seem to. That's an exaggeration. Most of us seem to have forgotten. Free flowing, continuous movement. Yup, bomb, bomb, be a, bomb, be a, bomb, be a, bomb. Very expressive. Yup, be a, bomb, 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 be a